everyone, it is Nature Girl Gaming, and today we'll be doing something slightly different for the channel. So since I haven't been doing much Sims lately because I have to keep up with all the other games that I've been starting, I figured that I could do something kind of Sims related because it would be a little bit easier to do and much quicker. So we'll be doing Sims 4 quizzes and maybe a bit of Sims 3 and I don't think there will be any Sims 2 or 1 because I haven't played those before. But basically, we will begin now. So this is the Sims checklist. So we have to check of all the things that we've done while playing The Sims. I have not done that. I have done this. I have seen this so much, and I have done it once, but it was like just an accident. So I'm not gonna check it. I have starved them. I have done that. I have done this. Definitely this. I have so much. In fact. I have a cool plan for Sims 4 that involves cow plants. I have done this, kinda. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. I mean, I've done this on accident a few times. Always have a pet, yes. No? No, I actually haven't. I like to fix the ugly Sims, which I'm planning to do later. Just let your Sim cry. Uh, yeah, I have. Probably because I just don't want to spend much time on them. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yes, both of those for sure. Just create chaos, yes. Mm-hmm. More visitors. I've done this so much. I always cancel the welcome wagons. And I don't have the expansion pack with this. And I know about this, but I never live in the place where they live, so. Show me my results. I'm a semi-legend. Close enough, but I'm still not quite there. And I have to do a bit more simming. Engage with the characters. Oh my goodness. That's a funny picture. Oh, I think that's like part of the ad for that thing. Okay, so this one is the house building. We'll reveal how you would die in The Sims. Which I think would be pretty interesting. So, the exterior normally looks like none of these. I just kind of do a block. Sometimes I forget to do a roof. I only recently figured out how to do a roof. Um, probably kind of like this. Um, welcome home, take a seat in the living room. It always looks something like this. Choosing a kitchen. <laughs> First I thought it was like a real kitchen. And they always look like this. Eh. I think they look more like this. Eh. Actually, no, because I was at the dining room there. Bedroom. I make huge bedrooms, like huge exteriors for the bedroom, and then hardly put anything in it. So I think this is probably the closest. In the bathroom, I do like the same thing, so this one. Well, I guess I do like to decorate a bunch with cabinets, so this one. A pool, of course, yes. Um, not that one or that one. Buy this one. No, that one's too small. I like to make big pools. An extra room to enjoy. I always have a gaming room and a home gym, but I think that I normally put computers in the bedroom. So I'm gonna say a gym. <laughs> ah! I actually recently had one of my Sims die of electrocution, not on YouTube. <laughs> um, it was intentional though. That's interesting. Finding my life aspiration. I'm really excited to do this. Place to live. Just the open air. Ah, uh, this one? Yeah, this one. Career. I almost always have one of my people be a teacher. So I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say created. Oh. I mean, I gave my dog a second name for YouTubes. I don't know if it's technically a... Nah. I'm gonna say dog lover. A hobby. Nah. It's between cooking and painting. I'm gonna say painting, though, because I'm not very good with um, measurements. Um, not really any of these. I have really weird fears because of my paranoia. I would say out of these, 
it would probably be um the loss of family. Expansion pack. Cats and Dogs is the only way to play any of The Sims games. It makes no sense to have to have an expansion pack for pets. Like, even, it's even better than Seasons. You just need Cats and Dogs. say talking over me friend of the animals i always choose this one so i was thinking i'd probably get it you're the definition of an animal lover you want nothing more than to be surrounded by fluffy friends and raise a cute little family of good boys and girls you're happiest surrounded by nature oh no nature dog heard me say good boy i'm happy that he's not like trying to climb in my lap now so we know how weird you <laughs> Or based on your Sims behavior. I mean, I could actually see this. I could check off how many things you've done on The Sims. Hmm. I have done this. But only for, like, special things. I have not made my friends... Um, what does it mean by bone? Like, sticky? I don't get it. Maybe it means like a skeleton. The babies all look the same. I have done this, I haven't done this. But I have done this just because I was curious. It depends on what this means, because I don't really have that kind of mods on The Sims. So I can't have that many, because you need 12, and you can only have 8. <laughs> I often just forget to let them. <laughs> Definitely this one. I love doing that one. <laughs> I've done this so many times on accident. Wait, Belagoth disappeared? I'm gonna look into that after. <laughs> I don't have a favorite celebrity. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Oh wait, I haven't used those, I've used this one. Definitely. I've done this a lot with Keeper of the Lost Cities, and I've also done a bit of stuff like that in Create a Sim with Warrior Cats. Um. Ah. Definitely. Oh, I've done this so many times. I've just played super long, and then I forget about it for a few days because of school, and then I just never go back. I don't really have much enemies. Yes? I have no idea what that means. I'm thinking that it means try to have them take their clothes off or something. Oh, maybe it's like that glitch where, um, like they lose, like, their arms are just like floppy. No. Okay. I mean, 
to cut in. Pretty standard. Alright, so this one is the dessert choices, and then they'll tell well, it's the Sims way. This is another one I was really excited for. Oh, this one looks really, really good. So is this one. They all look really good except for maybe this one, just because I feel like it has a little too much, like, thick frosting. This one has flowers on it, which I've never liked fake flowers. I'd say this one just because I don't like having something, like, hard just sticking up because it would be a act of balance. You couldn't really cut it. Choosing a cookie. This one. Ice cream? Not this one, it's like off the screen. Um... I actually don't really like putting ice cream in cones. Just because it's so messy, I like to eat it in a bowl. I would say probably that one. Donuts. <laughs> Just all of them. That one. A cupcake. That looks like maybe an orange one. This looks like a strawberry one. I would do that one. I'm a family player. Yes, I, I would say that's pretty accurate. Although, the, like, I wonder what happened if I changed my answer on some of them. Oh, you can't. Okay. So, obviously, for this one, I'm not going to, like, adopt a new pet because fix that would be weird. Um, but I just want to see what it thinks and see if, like, it maybe gets any of my dog's breed. How old is my sim? Always a young adult. Always cooking. criminal just to see if something bad is ever gonna happen like nothing bad ever happens I feel like it should be something more like maybe they can go to jail or something I always live in a waste springs but Brindleton Bay is like also really good I always live in Brindleton Bay and then since I play the sims mostly normally after I do Brindleton Bay I actually always um like, move to Oasis Springs, but I always start in Brindleton Bay because it's the only place you can find strays. Which I like. Cats and dogs. Mm. It's between these two. I don't have any of these. But, so, Realm of Magic added in quite a bit, and I think it's cool. But I think I'm going to have to go with Stranger Vault because it added so much. Also, I don't have any of these. Um, the only stuff pack I think I have is the um, Christmas one, because it was free, and the uh, my first pet because of the like sickness and stuff that can happen. But I have seen a lot, and I think I would probably choose kids' room stuff. A dog. <laughs> Just a dog. Okay, I thought it was going to be breed. Boo. I mean, I guess dog, yeah. Makes sense. It would be a dog. Sims 4 player are you? I mean... Yeah. Other. <laughs> it's gaming. <laughs> um, I feel like out of these, like I don't want none. I think out of these I probably want a fashion designer. And I have not seen any of these. I wonder if it'll, like, let me skip it. <laughs> we'll see. Um, the pack I would buy, Vampire. No, stop making me go back up.
close enough. I'm just going to have to keep scrolling down. I hope there's not, like, a lot of questions. Because I'm going to have to just keep on scrolling down. Wait. What? Oh, it is going to make me. I'm just going to choose the one I've heard of the most, which would be you. Because it's on Netflix. Carefree. To enjoy going with the flow and letting things happen, whether good or bad. You're a basic player who doesn't care much about the success of the characters. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Only a real sim would have done all the things. Alright. I have done this. I have not done that. I have not built a house. Yes. Yes. What? You can do that? What? I have not had triplets. For some reason, you can get the triplet achievement with dogs and cats, which is a little weird. I have done that and that. I have done this. But... Mm-hmm. Console commands? No. Yes? No. No. Played The Sims 3, done that. Spent way too many hours playing The Sims. Okay. You like playing The Sims. You play fairly often, but you didn't stick to basics. Mass is just trying the 100 baby challenge to spice things up. I don't do very many mods on this, so I can't do 100 baby challenge, because Max is eight. The only one I have is letting me control the pets, because that should have been added. Okay. The Sims 4 character I should date. What? Haunted Ghost Store. Is... <laughs> what? Is Non-traditional, yeah. Animal lover, for sure. They have to be an animal lover. To even, like, be friends enough to come into the house. <laughs> Trust. is really important. See, probably this out of all. Eh. Well, it said physical and I wrote it on other things, so probably good hair. Don't know many of these. <laughs> I like this, though. I would be the beast. Yet again, things that I've never even seen. So I'm just gonna pick the one that I've heard of the most. Which would have been... This. Curled cheese, is that romantic? Ew, that sounds gross. Do I salmon? I hope and Nicholas. I like the name Hope. Him. How come this is the person that I always have my sim marry if they are a vampire? Hmm. Okay, anyways, that is the final of the quizzes. This is kind of a short and sweet one, not like half an hour like all my other videos normally are. But anyways, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.